Last time, we had a discussion on how to save your profile settings and use overclocking daily. This time, we're going to tell you about the Afterburner main settings. Let's do it in the above order. The first thing may be of interest to you only if you have two video cards in your system. You may choose one of your cards or synchronize them for simultaneous overclock and monitoring. That's it. The second thing is a basic one. Do you need to run Afterburner each time you boot Windows? And should it be run in an expanded window or minimized tray icon? The third thing is very important. We've mentioned it earlier. We allow voltage regulation and also allow the system to burn our video card. The fourth thing isn't so important, but it is nice. Automatic program updates. It always keeps its hardware and software fit. By the way, if you've got an MSI video card, Afterburner can reveal its whole overclocking potential. By having the combination of hardware and software, you can control the voltage not only in the core, but also in the memory. As you may know, increasing voltage is good for frequency potential and for proper video card performance. Next time we'll tell you about the other functions of the program, which have nothing to do with overclocking, but are still useful.